Hi everyone, today is April 19, 2024 and we had KCET exam for Physics and Chemistry. Uh, many students complained that there were many questions from deleted syllabus. Uh, I am not going to discuss about that uh, today. But uh, I want to discuss one very interesting question which was asked. It was based on uh, mutual inductance, graphical question. And some institutes I saw they have given wrong uh, answer key and their solution also doesn't make sense and to be honest the question itself is having uh, some issue because of which I feel like they should give this as grace mark so we will see what the board will do so let us discuss this question okay so let me read the question for all of you it says a square loop of side length a is moving away from an infinitely long current carrying conductor at a constant speed so there is a straight current carrying conductor you all know current carrying conductor will produce magnetic field in that magnetic field there is a square loop so obviously those magnetic field lines will pass through the area of the square loop so there will be some flux right now this uh, square loop is moving away from the wire so as it moves away from the wire, the magnetic field passing through the loop will change, right? And therefore the flux will change. So the flux and the current will have some relation. So now they are asking, let x be the instantaneous distance between the long conductor and the side AB of the square loop. The mutual inductance M of the square loop and the long conductor pair changes with time according to which of the graphs. So this is the diagram that explains the question. So here is the straight current carrying conductor. It is infinitely long and here there is a square loop. The side of the square loop is A and at any given time, the instantaneous moment, the this part of the square loop is at a distance x from the current carrying conductor. Now, how are we going to calculate the mutual inductance between this coil and this wire? Quite simple, we pass current in one uh, coil. This is also a coil because it goes to plus infinity and it goes to minus infinity, right? So, it's a closed loop. So, we pass current in one coil and we calculate flux through the other coil. So, if this is the flux linked with the square loop and the current in the first coil is I, then if you divide these two, that is what is called mutual inductance between the two coils, okay. So we, our job is to find the magnetic flux in terms of current. Now how to find the flux through this? Very simple. What we do at some distance, arbitrary distance, let's say Z, I will consider a small area, this area, and this small thickness will be DZ. Okay, so if this is z, this small part will be dz. So this small part, let me show you separately here, like this. So this is a rectangular strip. So this thickness is dz and this part is a. So what will be area of this? Small area dA will be length is a, breadth is dz. So length into breadth, right? So this is the area. Now what will be the magnetic field at this different points of this area? Well, all these points are at what distance from this wire? Z. So, magnetic field at this point will be mu naught i by 2 pi z, isn't it? So, the flux through this small area, which is d phi, will be magnetic field in this part of the area, which is b, and the area of this part. Area of this part is a into dz, right? Now, what is the magnetic field? Mu naught i by 2 pi z a into dz. So this is the flux which is passing through this small area and the field lines are going perpendicularly we know from right hand thumb rule right from right hand thumb rule we know magnetic field will go perpendicularly. So no need to write cos uh, 0 because area vector is like this magnetic field is like this so cos 0 will be 1 no need to write right okay. So now what we have to do to find the total flux we just need to integrate right okay so now how do we integrate this well constants will come outside what are the constants mu naught a by 2 pi i integral of 1 by z dz now what are the limits of z well z represents what distance of this small area from this wire 
right and to find the total flux what we have to do we have to start from this area find the flux to this area then go to this area then go to this area then go to this area till i reach this area right so i have to find flux to all these small small thin rectangles and then i have to add that is what this integration means so when you are here this small part of the area what will be your variable z that time it will be x right so this z will be x and when you reach the last part of the area what will be your z that time your z will be x plus a now this integration is very simple right so this will be equals to mu naught a i by 2 pi and integral of 1 by z is z is log z upper limit is z x plus a lower limit is x so you will get log base e x plus a minus log base e x and log a minus log b formula will give you log a by b so this will become x plus a by x isn't it okay so this is how the flux depends on current now what was mutual inductance i told it was the ratio of flux divided by current so if you divide the flux by current you will get mu naught a by 2 pi log base e x plus a by x so this is how mutual inductance changes with x and as this coil moves this x will change right and as x will change m will 100 percent change so it is wrong to say that mutual inductance is constant which some people are saying it cannot be because as you go away more and more away the flux linkage how much flux of this uh, is passing through this area that will keep changing right it will become less and less therefore the mutual inductance will decrease so two options cannot be right the one which is constant and the one which increases it has to be decreasing now the point is we have to bring time here because they want graph of m not in terms of x they want in terms of time now the main issue with the question is they have not mentioned where the loop was at time zero so what I should assume? So when they don't mention, we have to do a general case, right? So let me do a general case where at time 0, this was at a distance x0. So at time 0, I am assuming this part of the loop is at a distance x0 from the current carrying wire. And they told at time t, it is at a distance x, right? And from time 0 to time t, this loop is moving with what speed? V. And since the speed is constant, this distance will be speed into time. So you can see x0 plus vt should be x. So I can write here as x as x0 plus vt plus a, right? So in place of x, I am writing x0 plus vt plus a divided by and this will be x0 plus vt. So now this is the final expression of mutual inductance in terms of time. Assuming the loop was at what distance x0 from the loop which the question did not clearly mention. Now how to plot the graph of this mutual inductance? Well at t0 what will be mutual inductance? Just put t equal to 0 right you will get x0 plus a here and here x0. So this is a constant. So if I plot along y axis mutual inductance time along x axis then at time 0 mutual inductance has some fixed value at time 0. So this is the point corresponding to this value of mutual inductance m not let me write. So after getting this point what, what about the graph? Well what we can do now is we can write this part this way right. So let us write formula for m again mu naught a by 2 pi and this thing we can write log base e since this and this are same we can write this divided by this will be 1 plus a divided by this right it's like LCM. So x0 plus bt. So if you solve this, you get this on the right. Now, see what happens when t is very very large. So when t goes to infinity, when t goes to infinity, this denominator goes to infinity. And if this goes to infinity, something divided by infinity goes to 0. So this whole term tends to 0. And therefore 1 plus 0 will be 1 and log of 1 will become 0, right? So as t goes to infinity, your m will go to 0. So the graph will go to something like this. So you can see this graph doesn't match with any of the option which was given. However, if you assume at time 0, the coil was like this from the state current carrying wire, meaning your x0 is 0. 
So at time 0, the coil started from the wire. If I assume that, then what will happen? Your x naught will be 0. And this will be the equation of your mutual inductance. Then you see what happens at T0. Then at T0, this equation will become m equals to this will be 0 plus a divided by 0, right? So, 0 plus a will be a and a divided by 0 will be infinite. So, your a, sorry, your m will start from infinity like this. If we assume this part, which was not mentioned in the question. So, let us see what the board does.